X period of time, can we increase the speed? Mr. Narendra Modi is now doing a bullet train. Why is he doing a bullet train? Because he needs to speed up the activity. Why is uh, Mr. Gadkari doing expressways from Mumbai to Nagpur? He's going to do that. And then we are planning to put up so what is that thing uh, between Mumbai and Pune? That uh, hyperloop. 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 We are planning to put a hyperloop, which will reach Pune in 20 minutes. So speed, 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 speed of work. We will have to be effective. The next item important is ethical values. We have to have our honest commitment to our customers. We must see to it that we must make the customers ethical practice. Just because the customer pays you the money and then you give the product, now of course a lot of changes have taken place. In that situation, you're making the product and then making the sales. You have to understand that your ethical values in terms of working are going to become more and more important. I don't know whether you're aware that in Mumbai alone, 20 builders are presently in jail. Are you all aware? Yes. Yes? Yes. So good. So I don't want to go to jail. That's fine. So please don't put me in jail. We need to see that the effectiveness, efficiency, the models have to be taken into consideration from a macro perspective to a micro perspective to all the points and legal ethics and all these other things we need to do. Yes, Ashwin. Ashwin is not aware. It's coming after I do. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Legal and suddenly occurred to me that she was. Yeah, so we need to work towards the thing and we need to keep up. Of course, we are committed to ethical values to the customer and we have been producing products which mean that is there. But this has to be further improved because the times are changing and you really need to move up the value chain in terms of what we are delivering to the customers in terms of ethical values that we are creating. What am I trying to say? So what is it that we cannot achieve out of the things which I have already told you? I've got three, four things, but they're not important. The, 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 the secret in all these things is here. Okay? So if we all agree, whatever you have said in terms of the Ten Commandments, what do we really need to do? You are today ordinary. You need to do that extra bit. And what is this extra bit that you need to do? You got to be much more effective. You need to put excellence into your work and life. You need to work with a tenacity. Don't leave it. You need to work achieve it nothing great we have to work on this be responsible there are professional people senior people who are being called over there you have to be responsible for the work that you are doing if you are not going to be responsible for the work you are also professional, you are getting a salary. You are a professional person, how can you start doing all this nonsense? You better check back whatever you are doing. Please be responsible for the whole thing. Accountable is different. Accountable means that the goals that we have set in, you have to meet and match that. That is accountability as distinguished from being responsible. Accountable means we put a target, we have to work towards it, that's the accountability that we really need to do as far as this is concerned. If you move to through this process that we have talked about and put that little extra to do, which is not very really big, I promise you. I've done it in the last five, seven years and I've produced extraordinary uh, uh, benefits to myself. Individually, I have benefited. And I've produced these extraordinary benefits. And it keeps me very happy. Speaking to you makes me delighted because I can share all my positive and negative experiences with you. I've told you my bad stories, I've told you my good story, I've told you what can make you extraordinary, what can make you great, how you can go from good to great, 
what are the value propositions that you need to do? Fortunately, you have only said that, so you, uh, you know, prevented me from saying what you all have already said. It's fantastic. So I want to congratulate each and every one of you. You are the organization that is poised to go from good to great. We have only begun this journey. I love that Pitala's example that we are here and we want to be here. And that is a person who's been 30, 34. 34 years in the company. And he says he has just reached here and his target is to be teaching here. So my friends, thank you for bearing with me so patiently in hearing all this uh, lecture basi that I have given. I hope there is some input that you have and I promise you one more thing at the end. If you imbibe these qualities and characteristics, you will find yourself a happier person. You know why? Because when you put a purpose to life, which is beyond only the salary and income that you get, your satisfaction and happiness moves from here to here. So even if you don't want to do it for me, or you don't want to do it for the company, <coughs> do it for yourself. In five years time, if you follow this kind of pattern, you will be a more happy, satisfied person than I am today. I always thought that after the tsunamis that hit me, not the 2017, but the last seven, eight years that took place to me, I would be a finished man. I would have no hopes, no aspirations, no desires, Nothing. I am not. I am exactly the opposite of that. I aspire, I perspire, I put up new goals, I want to be great. Last week I have been offered to become uh, the first Vice President of ASOCHAM in Delhi. Which means maybe once, once every other week I will have to be in Delhi. So you will have to take up more burden from me if I, if I get that in the first, second week of October. Which means I will take one more job over and above whatever I am doing but it doesn't matter. If all you people will help me, I'll be able to do that job also great. Uh, that's an industrial position. It's not Narenko or Krida. So that is uh, relating to only real estate. ASUCHAM is an industrial organization, which means all, all business and industry is covered. It's one of the three large organizations which the Prime Minister takes for his foreign visits also. So I'll be invited to accompany Prime Minister Modi on May not be next year, but the year after next when I become a full-fledged president of ASUCHA. Of course, there's a 25% chance that I may not ultimately take it, but that's another story. But what I wanted to tell you, that where I have reached is, again, what Pitala said, and I, I will follow his story, that I have reached here, and I want to be here. And I'll finalize with, by saying what Prakash told all of you, that I love you all, you're part of my family, I extended family and you always will. We may have differences, we may have other things, but I promise you, you will be treated as much as I would treat any other person in my own family. So, wish you well, great job, wonderful. Pardon my taking my nature.